the reference tools in Word can really help us with figure captioning and cross-linking and cross-referencing that to our text. So I'm going to show a, a, a quick example here about how we can, can do that with our figures, and you can do it with tables or other elements in, in a Word document as well. And so what we typically will see in a document is somebody comes in and labels something, uh, you know, this figure, figure one workflow. But the issue is if you come back and then add in a new figure, you've got to go and change all of your figure references. So the way we can do this automatically in Word, I'm going to delete that out and under my reference toolbar here, I'm going to go to insert caption. And so when we do that, they have multiple labels and you can see those options here. I'm going to use this, set this as a figure, but you can also create your own label if you want to. I'm going to set this as a figure and it's going to go in and this is the default text size and, and information, but we can obviously change that to something else. And you can set it as a style as well. So if you want it to have certain features, you can do that. And of course, set your styles to match that. So all subsequent ones will, will match that style. So figure one, I'm gonna use a period in between the number and then my title. So I'm gonna call it workflow of project. And then I'm, I would likely would have some text that says something. So I may say the, the workflow of the project is illustrated. And a lot of times you see somebody just type this in figure one, but again, we want to automate this. So instead of typing in figure one, we're going to go back to the references here and do a cross reference. So we're going to go, we're going to look for our numbered figures, go down to figure. And sometimes you may want to insert the entire caption. Usually I just want to insert the label and number. And now that's in here. So the workflow of the project is illustrated in figure one. Now, what may happen, as I mentioned, is if you go in and you have a new figure. So let's actually say, well, I want to place this map above that in the text. Maybe I want to explain that map first. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert my caption for this one. And since this one's above the other one, it's going to come in as figure one. Well, maybe map of project. And to update this, we're going to need, and it, it, a lot of times it will automatically update it, but if it doesn't, you can select all and update the field and it will update that for you. Back up in our text, we also can add this in. We could say, you know, and the map is shown in, we want to do the cross reference here. We want it to be figure two. Actually, this is, sorry, figure one. Let me delete that first reference. So now these are updated as well. And again, as you continue to, to update and modify things, um, you can select all and update them if they don't update automatically. But if they do, you've got this nice document that is going to stay up to date. A lot of times it's not critical if you only have a few figures, but if you're writing a long thesis or a long research paper and you've got 10, 15, 20, maybe more figures and tables, this can be really helpful. Uh, I know I've had that sense of panic when somebody asked me to add in a figure or table early on in a report and I knew it was going to have a cascading effect on all my numbering. So this is a great tool uh, to help you do that with, with figure captioning and table captioning and all, all the other things. So think about that in terms of both using the caption and the cross-reference. The other thing that's, that's nice with this toolbar is you can insert a table of figures. So if you are required to have a table that lists what pages everything is on, you can do that here as well. And it's going to update for you automatically as you add pages and add figures into your document as well.